Imagine sending a postcard, not to a friend, but to the universe, with no address and no guarantee it'll ever be read. Yet, that's what we did with Voyager 2, launched on August 20th, 1977. A message in a bottle cast into the cosmic ocean. Voyager 2 wasn't just a machine, it was a symbol of human curiosity asking, what's out there? Its mission to take advantage of a rare planetary alignment, visiting Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune in a single journey. Like cosmic billiards, it used each planet's gravity to slingshot to the next, a grand tour only possible once every 176 years. But there was a deeper goal to reach the edge of the sun's influence and report back from the unknown. Voyager 2 carried the golden record, a greeting to any extraterrestrial life filled with sounds and images of Earth. It's more than a spacecraft. It's a pioneer, mapping the uncharted territory of interstellar space. Its journey is our journey, a story of exploration that continues to unfold decades after it left home. Voyager 2 is our cosmic message. We are here. The true edge of our solar system isn't Neptune or the Kuiper Belt. It's much farther, defined by the sun's invisible shield, the heliosphere. The sun's solar wind creates this vast bubble, protecting us from harsh cosmic rays in interstellar space. The edge is where this bubble ends, the heliopause, where the sun's influence fades and the galaxy begins. Before the heliopause, there's the termination shock, where the solar wind slows dramatically, and the turbulent heliosheath. Voyager 2's mission was to reach and study this mysterious borderland. How strong is our shield? Is it smooth or warped by galactic forces? Understanding the heliosphere is crucial for knowing our place in the galaxy and the conditions that allow life on Earth. Voyager 2 became our eyes and ears at this distant frontier. It set out to answer questions we couldn't solve from home. Voyager 2's journey was a cosmic marathon, launched in 1977 with technology less advanced than a modern car key fob. It braved extreme temperatures and deadly radiation belts, surviving where failure seemed certain. The Grand Tour began with Jupiter in 1979, revealing violent storms and volcanic moons. Saturn followed with close-ups of its rings and the mysterious Titan. Each planet's gravity flung Voyager 2 onward, saving fuel and making the mission possible. It became the only spacecraft to visit Uranus, discovering its tilted axis and faint rings. Neptune was next, a blue world of storms and icy geysers on Triton. After the planetary tour, Voyager 2 pressed into the unknown, its instruments still working as sunlight faded to a thousandth of Earth's. Communicating took hours, but the probe kept going, powered by its nuclear heart. Against all odds, Voyager 2 sailed for the edge of the sun's kingdom. It became a silent sentinel, venturing farther than any probe before. Its endurance redefined what was possible in space exploration. The heliosphere is our solar system's shield, carved out by the sun's solar wind in the thin soup of the interstellar medium. This bubble, over 100 times the Earth-Sun distance, protects us from cosmic rays that could damage DNA and disrupt electronics. Without it, life on Earth would be far more vulnerable. For decades we only had theories about the heliosphere's shape, most imagined a smooth comet-like bubble. But science demands data, not just models. Voyager 2's instruments were designed to measure magnetic fields, plasma, and energetic particles at the edge. As it traveled through the turbulent heliosheath, it sent back the first direct measurements. The stage was set for a discovery that would challenge everything we thought we knew. Voyager 2's true purpose became clear, to reveal the real nature of our cosmic shield. The edge was closer and stranger than we'd ever imagined. On November 5, 2018, after 41 years and 11 billion miles, Voyager 2 crossed the heliopause, leaving the sun's bubble for interstellar space. Its instruments recorded a sudden drop in solar wind and a surge of galactic cosmic rays. The crossing wasn't smooth, it was sharp and dramatic like hitting a wall of water. Plasma density jumped and the interstellar magnetic field was stronger than expected. This boundary was far more defined than models predicted. A real frontier, not a gentle fade. Voyager 1 had crossed earlier but with a broken plasma instrument. Voyager 2 gave us the first complete data. The two crossings revealed our models were too simple. The edge of the solar system is dynamic, complex, and full of surprises. The interstellar magnetic field piles up against our bubble, creating a magnetic traffic jam. Voyager 2's data forced us to rethink our place in the galaxy. The heliopause is not just a border, it's a battleground between solar and galactic forces. 
the universe is messier and more fascinating than we imagined. Voyager 2's most profound discovery? Our heliosphere isn't a perfect shield. It's dented, leaky, and misshapen. Voyager 1 exited at 122 astronomical units. Voyager 2, in a different direction, at 119, proving the bubble is squashed, not symmetrical. Something is pressing on one side, deforming our shield. Even more surprising, Voyager 2 detected high-energy particles sneaking in from interstellar space and solar particles leaking out. The boundary is a porous membrane, not a solid wall. Magnetic portals open and close, letting material pass both ways. This means our solar system is in constant dialogue with the galaxy. The simple, safe cocoon we imagined is gone. We're exposed to galactic influences in ways we never realized. The environment outside our bubble directly affects us inside. Voyager 2's data revealed our home is more vulnerable and more connected than we ever thought. The real story isn't just about planets, but about our place in a dynamic, unpredictable galaxy. The leaky bubble changes everything. Why does a dented, leaky heliosphere matter? Because it's our shield, protecting our DNA and making life possible. If the bubble is weaker or leakier than we thought, Earth's habitability is at stake. For future astronauts, knowing where the leaks are is vital for safe space travel. Voyager 2's data is a safety manual for humanity's next steps beyond Earth. The discovery also changes our perspective. We're not isolated but part of a galactic ecosystem. Winds from other stars and ancient supernovae touch us constantly. We are galactic citizens connected to the Milky Way's vast processes. Voyager 2's story is a lesson in humility. Science is about being surprised and learning where we're wrong. The universe is stranger and more wonderful than we ever imagined. Our leaky bubble is a reminder. We're part of something much bigger. The Voyager spacecraft now drift through interstellar space, silent ambassadors carrying Earth's story for millions of years. Their power will fade, but their journey continues, a testament to human curiosity and unity. Voyager 2's discoveries opened a new field of science, revealing a dynamic, mysterious boundary at our solar system's edge. The baton now passes to new missions, but the spirit of exploration endures. In a divided world, Voyager 2 reminds us of our shared quest to understand the cosmos. Space exploration unites us, inspiring courage and curiosity. Next time you look at the night sky, remember Voyager 2, still traveling, still exploring. Its journey proves we are explorers at heart, and our adventure is just beginning. There are countless secrets waiting in the dark, and it's our destiny to find them.